Okay, here's this drone. Let's see how to modify the output power band and channel of the video transmitter using a wireless connection that is your radio and your goggles. You can manually, of course, uh, change the band, frequency and power using these small buttons on the side of this Maytag video transmitter, but you can use the radio also. To modify it wirelessly, you have to connect another additional line. In this case is this one, it is a TX, so we have TX and we have WID. TX is the top one and WID is the bottom one. So add this single wire between the video transmitter and the flight controller. On this GHE F7 flight controller I have to use this TX which is TX number 3 which is called in this case T3 so that's the cable which is connected between the flight controller and between the video transmitter the usual three wires are the the plus the minus and the signal that is the red the black and the yellow Okay, and after that you have to do a modification in beta flight also. Okay, now the flight controller is connected to the USB cable of the computer. And start beta flight, connect it to your drone, go here to the ports tab. Okay, and since it was T3, that is TX3, we have to use UART3. And on the UART3 you have to enable VTX IRC tramp. Okay, it will work even if you enable it on all of them. You cannot enable exactly on all of them because UART2 has something enabled and that has to be disabled. You cannot enable it on USB VCP either, that also has to be disabled. So if you are not sure to which TX did you soldered your wire, then just enable all of them that can be enabled. If you enable an additional one, let's say that one, and save it and reboot it, then all of them will be disabled, so see which one is working. Okay, so after enabling at peripherals, a VTX IRC tramp, then you have to use your radio, both sticks in the center, this one to the left and that one to the front. You have to go up and down using the right stick and you will enter by moving it to the right and you will exit by moving this one to the left. So to modify the power settings, go down to features right stick to the right to enter we have vtx sa that is smart audio that's for tbs video transmitters and this is vtx tr that tramp is used for this matec video transmitter so enter vtx tr right stick to the right okay and you can change let's say the power you can't use all of them so this one has power level at 25 at 200 and at 500 and here we have at power we have 25 100 200 400 600 nothing of non okay let's talk about only the numbers so 25 will work because there is 25 here also 100 it will not work if you apply that one, you have to apply it by going to set, right stick to the right, confirm yes. And in this case, notice that it's flashing. It's flashing because it, this one tries to go to the next one, which is 200, and here the next one is 100. And then the goggles flashes and this one is still flashing, so it cannot stay exactly there. So go up to power use 200 set it confirm it and on 200 it will flash and then it will stop so that one can be used the same for the next options 400 can be set 400 sets it to the maximum value which is in this case 500 it will be solid in a few moments 
that's it and we have image also okay so that's how to modify wirelessly the power of your video transmitter using your radio and your goggles and just by adding one additional wire between the TX of the video transmitter and TX of the flight controller and just one modification here on ports since I used TX3 I have to use UART3 so only UART3 has to be enabled it remained only that one UART3 only that one is enabled if it's flashing then it means that the connection between the flight controller and VTX is made if you disconnect it then it will not flash and if it's disconnected then it doesn't matter if it's IRC tram selected there you can save, apply and it will not do anything so when it's really working the LEDs have to change here also